Okay. Missing man may have been baked into a pie. All right, then. Let's go, shall we? Let's... Hold on to your butts, people. But... Not much has ever happened but in ding this ding tiny ding village ding on the ding edge ding of the ding desert. Ding Six ding hours ding south ding of ding Darwin. Dual and banjos somewhere. Now. <gasps> I believe that Paddy is deceased. Paddy? You look like a killer. I'm not a but I'm too busy to do that. Welcome to Larimer. Population 13. Bradley. And an unlucky number for one resident who's gone missing, feared dead, leaving 12 suspects and one in particular. It's a unique investigation and it's a mystery. A current affair. Do you think he's a bit foul play? Yes. Oh, well, absolutely. There we go, there we go, folks. Paddy Moriarty has gone missing. Oh, thanks, Bronnie. Thanks, mate. In a remote village of meat pies, a missing dog, and a pensioner with a wicked tongue. I don't bullshit and I don't lie. Could Larimer be the new Wolf Creek? They drive past here pinging out murder. And hard to turn off ads, really. Do you really? think that he's met a sinister end? Unfortunately, we think so. Can I have a latte? No, you can have a uh, white coffee. <laughs> Fran Hodgetts runs. Can I have a latte? No, piss off. House. You can have what, you, what I give you. Isn't her forte, but she says her pies are. If you want mm. rubbish, you go to the, the pub. My pies are famous, world famous. World famous Harry man pie. Owns the pub. Oh no, you weren't allowed to sell a pie. Giving the cops a tasty lead. We are focusing on. Feuds. Let's talk about that a bit. How, how does everyone get on in this little town? They don't. No, no, no. It was meant to be a colour story on a remote. Well, if they just if they suspect anything, just, chance, just buy a bunch Patty of pies. Told the ABC all those test them for ago, DNA. Something very interesting. Human DNA. Brands has got the worst pies. I used to go over there, and and the dog wouldn't eat me pie. No, <laughs> I had his guts, but I never Ooh. spoke to him. Okay. I no, he done a lot of damage yeah. here for ten years. And he was a big supporter of the pies down yeah, the park, Yeah, that's wasn't right, he? yes. Yeah. 70 year old Paddy was last <laughs> seen four months ago, leaving Larimer's pink. <laughs> he is at the He was at his is local he a pie? every day, where he spent his time on a stool. It's in the pie there, the lady. After a session, he went home for the last time oh, on the video. night of December 16 last year. He's gone inside his house because there was a chicken in the microwave and there was food on the table. He had his personal items like a, his bank cards and his hat inside his house. There's no sign of any disturbance inside the house. And then he disappeared without a trace in one of the more remote parts of our country. No way. Causing an investigative headache for Detective Sergeant Matt Allen. There's no mobile phone coverage. There's no CCTV. The nearest fuel <laughs> station is 100 kilometres <laughs> north Party, of the city. Paddy, what was his name? Um, uh, it's very difficult for um, detectives to monitor people's movements in and out of the town, as you would in a big city. Paddy and Mor Mor Morty. Mor oh, the cake's still frozen. She got the, believes the she's got a whistle. Food. I give them all a little gift before they go. They get hey. everything here, oh, don't yes, they? Yes, yes. Hey, Has Chris. This <laughs> amiable tea house. It's fucking. Is is the is what's his name from Family Guy? Hey Chris, get your sexy ass over here! Oh Chris, will you like my popsicle? I can't do it. Popsicle. Host. You get a lovely Harris coffee. <laughs> yes. Oh you my god. You get a lovely frozen piece of cake, and, and you get you some get fresh stuff, teddy bear. and a teddy bear. The number one suspect. I was under house arrest over Christmas and New Year. Wasn't allowed to We have persons of interest. Every single resident of Larimer has been asked. <laughs> wait, wait. What are you saying? This is no laugh about our party was baked into a. Well, you just spoiled it now. You just spoiled it. We're, only, we're not even halfway through the video. You're spoiling it. You're making jokes. <laughs> what was he, your uncle or something? Look at the title. Missing man may may have been baked into a pie, not missing man is a pie. You see? 
I was clueless. I had no idea. It was just a missing man. A detailed account of their movements. And our lady. And, uh, like Len. I, I, I left <sighs> just after he went missing. Yeah. So right. the were Jeez, you fled, did you, Come after you went missing? Yeah. Jeez, buddy. you're not a suspect, are you? <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> were you? Yeah, but they've sorted that out. Fran, though, says she's the one in the copper's sights. I said, you're treating me like an animal. And I don't like and it. And why is that? She's man? the heavy. Because she's the heavy of the, the town. They've been here five times as yep. on with warrants. Hey, Chris. They <laughs> scraped my incinerator out. They pumped my septic out. My large septic thing and Patty was down there. Mind at the bottom of my steps. They've done my house out three times. Do you swear that you have nothing I to do swear with on my mother's grave and my father's grave been dead for 40, 50 years and my grandkids. I got nine grandkids, and I can swear on their life that Owen and I never left this property. Had nothing to do with Paddy. Don't know where he is. Owen is Fran's mysterious gardener, who shuns people. He has had forensic police search his car following an alleged feud he had with Paddy over his Paddy's dog. Paddy's face on he told sale. Me he told no, no. dog across the road. Right. That's all he said. That was. He didn't even know Paddy. He never seen Paddy before in his life. You Jeez, know. a lot of things happen in this place. Yeah, don't I know. They? And, we um, like to call and, this and, pie uh, Barry, the Patty Pie. Barry, um, the on sale. That's okay. Nine ninety five. It's not blood. No, 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 That's no, all no, that no, no, no. All this drama in a village so small has forced Fran to eat humble pie. I've changed my pies now to to waffle pies. Waffle pies. So I have to do so that. So there's a point of difference. Yes, now there is. Yes, yeah, I'll change. Yeah. And very different. This goes on the camel pie. You heard right. It's a camel pie. Camel pie. Lady! That's not a pie. And Fran doesn't take no for an answer. So that's, that's it, eh? Camel, mash, mash, camel potato pie. Open we, pie. What's on the seat? On top. Yep. That's your own secret recipe. Yep, my own. You're the Colonel Sanders of Larimer. What part of the camel is it? I don't know. And she claims all this controversy has been a boom for her Larima pie business. Mm. They're coming in asking for patty pies. We, you know, they think yeah. you missed him. Yeah. <laughs> but the quirkiness of this village and this story is no <laughs> laughing matter. You were right, patty pies. <laughs> for a man is missing, feared dead in suspicious circumstances. Oh. I certainly miss him. It's like a vacuum round here. Oh, Paddy. And life in Larimer just isn't the same, says Richard the barman. Just a general decent Aussie, mate. He's just a really decent sort of a bloke, so excellent sense of humour. But the feud is front and centre in most people's minds, yeah, like Billy. Yeah. She didn't like him much. Oh, no, I couldn't blame her, really. Yep. And Karen yep. and Mark. They really didn't like each other. Who thought their isolated, quiet home was the perfect uh, escape uh, uh, from big city crime. Hands up, please. You're on camera. Everybody has a right to go home and, and go to bed at night and be safe. There but we you are. would believe in a tiny place like this, it would just naturally happen. I head back to Franz and work off my camel pie in the 42 degree heat, where those missing signs have Franz blood boiling. So for a different they reason. They're shit stirring. They put it there, and they they wanted to put it on my fit on my fence, and I said no. You put it on my, fence, I'll rip it off. And they went across the road and put it there and placed it over here. You know, Fran, I'm going to get a very sore finger on this story. I'm going to have to put the beep button and be beeping that those words all I the know, time. We can just keep them down a little bit so I don't have so yep, many beeps. Yep, Is that all right, yep, darling? Yep, yep, That'd yep. be good. Yeah. Her last <laughs> police interview has this 75-year-old most upset. This is what he said. Exactly what he said. Where's Paddy's body? And uh, went in the office, and he and I thought I won't swear again. I said, D -d 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 -d. you've pressed me buttons now. I, I, I used the bad word that many times, it's not ridiculous, so I won't say it. Thank you, that'll make no, life easier yeah, for me. Right, I love to make it easy for you. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Anyway, and I said, hang on, I said, you wanted a <laughs> statement? There's me, <laughs> statement. statement, Yep. read that. Yeah. 
She, she, Back in Darwin, where this disappearance has now escalated to the major crime unit, mm-hmm. Detective Allen believes Paddy's dog Just Kelly say, here's my statement. The key. If we find the dog, we'll be able to find Paddy. The Kelpie How? never left Paddy's side. Ah. Police have spent months searching the local rubbish tip, dams and surrounding scrub. We won't give up. We're going to continue the investigation and continue the search as long as it takes whatever it takes to find Paddy and Kelly. He's out there in the bush. And the person of interest says, it's not me. And I tell the truth. I told the code detectives two things. I don't bullshit and I don't lie. That's exactly what, and I said, I'm going to sit back when you find him or find his clothes and say, I told you so. Wow. I'm supposed to retire now. I don't want to go to jail. Certainly (laughs) not before she plies me with more Outback Tucker. The dessert. Oh, the dessert. Jeez, you're going to kill me with all this food. That's a slip of the tongue, by the way. I know. (laughs) Before I headed off on the long journey. Nice one, Barry. Fran insisted on giving me this little gem. Tracy first for the Logie. I I don't watch the news. I don't watch anything else. It's 60 minutes, nothing. I watch current affair. And that's no bullshit. I'm not telling you that because you're here. I don't. I watch current affair every night. It's on. Fantastic. Well. Wow, wow, wow. Yo. 